Lindsay Bewes. Inverclyde was hit hard by COVID back in the spring. Now it has one of the lowest rates of cases in the central belt. But it's been put in level three restrictions. Inverclyde has a, traditionally had um, a very challenging economical environment. So um, for us to be already uh, in this predicament and have enforced into a level or a tier that um, we don't warrant, it's going to impact on our businesses and the level of growth that we would hope for. At a Holyrood committee, the chief medical officer defended the decision. One of the considerations which I think is really important here is, is that geographical positioning with, with high levels of infection surrounding the area. With concerns over the spread of COVID from high to low areas, the First Minister is considering putting the travel ban between them into law. You cannot have the police stop in everybody's journey, but I think we all recognise that when something is put in law, most people uh, realise perhaps more than they do when it's in guidance that it's important and it does give the police the ability, if they have evidence that people are flagrantly breaching the law, to take action there uh, where that is appropriate. So how do people in Greenock feel about the travel rules? I think a lot of it's down to common sense as well, that you have to restrain, but if you're bringing anything back into the area, then I understand where she's coming from. My son's in a level two and he, I'm in a level three. If he can't come home for Christmas, it's going to be terrible. You know, it's just not fair. You know, so if we were a level two, he could come home. We had a hotel booked and it's in a level two and we're going to have to cancel that now. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Concerns too from opposition. All this chopping and changing won't help people understand what they're supposed to do and when they're supposed to do it. No, it's far superior to have encouragement through guidance rather than enforcement through the law. That enforcement could come as deaths continue to rise.